Okay, now we're going to boot up this new version of my UMPC. This is an ARM based. So what we have here is an upgraded version of my original. The original UMPC ran Pi Zero. This here is the Pi Zero, which was limited to just Raspbian, uh, mostly for uh, development and education. Uh, there were some builds for the Pi 3 of Ubuntu, uh, not capable to be ran on the Pi Zero, and I had many requests to be able to run Ubuntu like Ubuntu Mate. I was fortunate enough to find that Banana Pi created a similar to the Pi Zero, but it's an ARM based running an H2 Plus. Uh, this is an open source, as they say. Uh, ARM based, which can run Ubuntu, Android, and I think they say one other, one other uh, operating system. Uh, on the version I have, the operating system that I have installed right now is Ubuntu Mate. So the Banana Pie version is a quad core 1 gigahertz with uh, 512 megabytes of RAM. The Banana Pie was a single core 1 gigahertz. So the performance is much better on the Banana Pie. Let's see if we open Chromium. Cancel this a couple times. Been having to learn quite a bit about Ubuntu and Armium, so I'm not 100% educated on a lot of things, but enough so that I was able to get this up and running. So let's do a uh, Google search. So it's actually usable, where the Pi Zero uh, was very limited with the single core, one gigahertz. Uh, anything to do with the internet was very slow. Uh, this Banana Pi version is actually capable of running YouTube videos. Let me close this and I'll bring over my So this is the Raspbian version, not currently connected to the internet. So both, both versions feature full keyboard with backlight, an adjustable backlight. They both have the GPIO ports fully available for education and development. Nothing, nothing in this UMPC is using any of the GPIO ports, so they're completely available to be used for programming, education, or development. I hope to have a doc uh, in the future but the current design is completely capable of providing all those ports uh, to you. Let's bring back over the ARM-based UMPC.
system tools, we can take a look at power profile and performance. So we can run a benchmark. We'll click on the benchmark here. Currently the design is fanless, so it does get a little hot, there's no active cooling. So we can actually push that off to the side. We can go back to this and just get an idea of, of the design, because both UMPCs are identical in design. You got a charging port. Uh, the power boost that I'm using has lights that you can see through here, so you will get a green light when the battery is fully charged. You'll get a amber light when the battery is charging. And there'll be a red light when the battery is low. This is the single 40 pin ribbon that runs up to the screen. And then of course our GPIO dock connector there. It's able to open the two different locations. It snaps here, snaps there. Okay, so on our ARM-based Banana Pie version, we finished up our Blowfish benchmark. We came in at 59. I was able to get, with, with some cooling and the board outside of the unit uh, in the low 50s. So we can close this. Both versions uh, complete have a complete USB port. Full size USB. So we'll just plug in a flash drive here. And it mounted the flash drive. So this can be used for you know, game controllers, flash drives, mouse, external keyboards, uh, whatever uh, the particular operating sy system that it's running is capable of using. So yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been working on over the last uh, couple of days now is upgrading to a ARM-based system. Uh, currently for the Banana Pie that I'm using, they have uh, Ubuntu Mate and they have some Armium builds. I'm still learning about the operating systems and how to compile on my own. Uh, right now my, my knowledge is limited to modifying the config so that I can run my 5 inch screens uh, which are not normally supported by the operating systems Armium without a little bit of modifications so I will be in the future monitoring its battery life, its battery consumption seeing if there's anything I can do to reduce uh, the amount of battery consumption. Right now, uh, this design is able to house a 2000 milliamp battery. So I'll just show the current shutdown process. I'll actually turn the backlight on on this one just to show that it functions. So I'm gonna hit shutdown. So it's gonna go through a shutdown process. everything works correctly it will shut down the banana pie. Uh, the keyboard will lose its connection to the banana pie and what I typically do is I wait for the keyboard to turn off just to ensure that 
the Banana Pi is completely shut down. With these type of single board computers that run off of flash drives, if you shut down incorrectly, it's possible to have some corruption. So just to be a little extra safe, I wait for the keyboard to time out. And here the keyboard is timed out, so now I'm going to flick the switch and cut the battery off completely. And I'll plug the USB drive. So, I guess just to review, this is an ARM-based UMPC, open source. So there's lots of things that, that you can do to uh, run operating systems, make your, make your own operating systems based off of Armbium and Android. I have a complete GPIO pins are exposed so you can use them to develop and that's on both versions. This is the Raspbian version with Raspberry Pi. So yeah, hope you find the video pretty interesting, see the different things that I'm working on. I think they're pretty cool little UMPCs, uh, mostly because they're they're open source and can run different versions of different operating systems. Uh, my my intention was to create something that that a user would be able to be able to start developing and messing around with their own operating systems or education for programming without having to get involved with keyboards, mice, screens, resolutions. Uh, all the things that, that take up quite a bit of time when you first get involved in single board computers. And I hope to solve those and for users to be able to start developing and creating things and messing around with operating systems right away out of the box. Not have to go through the struggles of all those things that have to be involved just to get the single board computer up and running so that you can program with it. Uh, of course both versions have Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, so yeah thank you for watching the video and I hope you found my UMPCs interesting. <laughs>